Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today we have a new software update from Apple iOS 13.5 is finally here. Now this is an update that has gone through a few beta stages which started as iOS 13.4.5 but then due to a new API that Apple had to push they had to change the number and now we have iOS 13.5. Now iOS 13.5 will bring a few new features and changes to iOS 13 as well as the usual bug fixes and improvements of course now i had this since beta 1 so in this video we're going to also talk about the battery life of ios 13.5 as well as the overall performance of this new update now let's start it off with the new features now one really cool new feature on the music app allows you to share any of your songs to instagram stories or to facebook stories it is really easy to use on any song all you have to do is just go to the share sheet of that song and you will have the ability to create automatically a story for your instagram or facebook now you will have to go to the share sheet and then you will find here instagram or facebook now if you don't see them here just tap on the more button and you will have a list of apps here tap on edit and make sure you enable facebook and instagram or just add them to your favorites right there you should see them anyways so all you have to do is just tap on one of the icons and it will generate a story automatically it will create that using the song and it will automatically open the instagram or facebook app as you can see right here now you will have this little card with the album artwork right there name of the song name of the artist and then apple music logo right there now you can move this anywhere you want here and on the background you will have basically like a blurred version of the artwork right there now if you tap and hold here you will be able to basically change that blur so you can see right here you can adjust it and here you're good to go you can basically share any song from music to instagram or facebook stories another change on the facetime settings you know when you're on a group call on facetime the person that's speaking the video will zoom to that person so now you will have the ability to disable that feature so if you go to your settings and you go to the facetime settings you will have here a section that says automatic prominence and you will have a button that says speaking now if you go ahead and disable this basically it won't zoom in on the person that is currently speaking if you don't like that feature don't want to have that on your group calls you can go ahead and disable it from here with ios 13.5 with iOS 13.5, you will also have the option to share your medical ID. And this is really, really important. In any case of emergency, it will show this even when your device is locked. It will share it basically on the lock screen of your device. Now, for this to work, you will need to make sure that you have enabled the emergency and SOS location. So go to settings, go to privacy go to location services and right here if you scroll down you will find system services make sure that here you have emergency calls and sos enabled if you disable that this new feature won't work so make sure you have that enabled all the time a very welcome new feature of ios 13.5 is the ability to unlock your device using a passcode instead of face id if you're wearing a mask so due to the whole situation a lot of people are wearing masks so when you go to unlock your device using your face id it would fail if you have a mask on but now with ios 13.5 it will basically recognize that you have a mask on your face and will just send your device automatically to the passcode screen so you won't have to wait for face id you can just go ahead and quickly unlock your device using passcode now that will be enabled by default once you install ios 13.5 you don't need to configure anything anytime you want to unlock with face id with a mask on it just sends you to the passcode screen a new feature that is also quite big with iOS 13.5 is the ability to enable exposure notifications for the new pandemic. That's a new feature that Apple has added and it's of course really really useful. Now just notice that this won't be available on all the countries in the old world. Basically we'll have the section right here from where you can enable these notifications for your device on iOS 13.5. Now, if you want to enable them, you will find them under the privacy settings. So you go to settings, you go to privacy and go to health. And right here, you will have the exposure logging. And right there, you can go ahead and enable these notifications. 
A really important fix of iOS 13.5 is also the character bug that has been happening during the past few weeks on iPhones. You might have seen one of my videos that I did on this character bug. Now this happens every once in a while. These are like weird characters that will just freeze your device. They will crash your iPhone. Now you can see this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm on iOS 13.5 of course and it's not doing anything to my device because they have been fixed. If you're on the lower firmware and you receive this on any notification on your device, it will basically just freeze your device. Nothing will work and you will have to reboot your device. So let's say you get a message with these like characters. Now notice that there are two Italian flags right there, but that doesn't mean anything. You can remove them completely. You can have other emojis right there. The important part are these characters, they will actually freeze your device. Now, if you receive this, as I said, on a notification, your device will be freezed. You will have to reboot it to get it to the normal like state. But if you go to the messages to delete then that message, you will still get stuck right there. And you will have to try quite a few times closing and opening the messages app in order to delete that message that contains these characters. So this is very important that Apple has fixed this. So if you had this problem, make sure you update to iOS 13.5 as soon as possible. As I said at the beginning, I had this since beta one and the performance has been really, really good really smooth everything has worked just fine now of course this is quite late on the ios 13 is ios 13.5 and you can expect it to be really really smooth and of course very very stable so here we have geekbench and we have some scores here so if we go to cpu right here you can see i have two different benchmarks i have one with iOS 13.4 right here and you can see the score 1332 for the single core score and of course 3422 for the multi-core score now if we go to iOS 13.5 you can see here a very very slight improvement on the single core score while on the multi-core score there is a drop on the point so we have like a 200 score drop right there and we have just a slight improvement on the single core score but overall it has been performing good i didn't have any problems with this update it has been just smooth and of course very stable at the same time and of course one of the most important parts of every update every software is battery life they're all like different versions of ios that tend to consume a ton of battery they of course have bugs and stuff like that but with iOS 13.5 here on my iPhone 11 Pro, everything has been good. I didn't notice any like huge improvements or anything on battery life, but it didn't like drain battery or something like that. It has been really, really stable and the battery consumption has been like standard for me since iOS 13.1. It has been basically the same with slight improvements, but nothing that you will actually notice and that will actually like improve your daily use or give you like an hour more battery or something like that just slight improvements nothing big but it's not bad at all and last but not least should you install ios 13.5 on your device of course you should this is a very good update with a few new features which are actually very very important even though they might not seem that attractive but they are important and of course the bug fix for those characters that's really important as well because if you get that notification it will be just a pain getting rid of those messages that stuff from your iphone so i suggest everyone go ahead and update to ios 13.5 as soon as possible if you want to have a better and smoother experience using your iphone on daily basis so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is ios 13.5 a very nice update as which started as i said at the beginning as iOS 13.4.5 but then due to the new api that apple had to add they had to change the number and they couldn't go with the same they had to change it to ios 13.5 this is probably one maybe the last big update to ios 13 before the release of the first beta of ios 14 which will be on june 22nd and i'm very very excited for that let's wait and see what new feature features apple will bring to ios with ios 14 hopefully that will be something really really exciting so that's pretty much it again thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for more videos and to be informed with the latest ios updates thank you guys and i'll see you on the next one